Today in incredibly damning yet equally unsurprising news, a former Trump staffer revealed new text messages alleging even more secret payoffs and settlements from Trump's 2020 campaign. And like I said, as unsurprising as it is to hear that the 34-time convicted felon, adjudicated rapist, fraudster, lying insurrectionist has even more skeletons in his closet, the details are still incredibly damning. And what makes it even worse is that yet again, the call is coming from inside the house. Stop calling you me, you listen sick- to me. We trace the call, it's coming from inside the house. Because the former staffer who revealed the bombshell text messages claiming that Trump's 2020 campaign staff quote, settled multiple suits related to gender discrimination and sexual harassment is one AJ Delgado who worked on Trump's 2016 campaign. And fair warning, there is some pretty messed up stuff in here about the people Trump surrounded himself with and was protecting, but seeing as this is how the sleazebag talks about his own daughter, I think you're all well prepared for the rest. Revelations. She's got Marla's legs. We don't know whether or not she's got this part yet, but time will find it. Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that. Now, it should also be noted that this is yet another former Trump staffer who is breaking the ranks to turn on Von Schitt's and Pants. Though not for the same reasons as, say, his Vice President Mike Pence, his second Attorney General Bill Barr, his first Secretary of Defense Jane Mattis, his second Secretary of Defense Mark Esper, you get the point. No, the difference here is where those former heads of state broke from the Trump cult of stupidity for their qualms with him either calling for them to be hung, putting national security at risk, being unfit for office, or just plain being... Well, I think Rex Tillerson had the iconic two-word description of Trump. The first word I won't repeat even on your show, the second of which was moron. Okay, I'll throw it in there. That's that's pretty much on point. Yes, a Moron. AJ Delgado broke with Trump and made the upcoming revelation as part of her ongoing discrimination lawsuit against the current campaign, alleging she was graped by another Trump advisor and Walmart Alex Jones, Jason Miller. Kind of uncanny, wouldn't you say? Here's hoping, if the allegations are true, that Miller meets the same fate, namely bankruptcy and other destruction, as his doppelganger, Mr. They're Turning the Frogs Gay. It's making the freaking frogs gay. I'm not trying to be dramatic here, but it's been a hard fight. <sighs> These people hate our children. And here are the text messages from the lawsuit against the 2016 Trump campaign, where AJ Delgado files an unredacted exchange with Jenna Ellis, who is another ex-Trump staffer from his 2020 campaign, and also a co-defendant in his election subversion case in Georgia, because when you side with Trump, you get caught in the web of criminality by sheer proximity, where Jenna Ellis admits that the Trump campaign settled multiple discrimination or sexual harassment claims against someone named Boris, which I'll expand on in just a second. The message chain starts with Delgado reaching out saying, Jenna, between us, do you know of anyone who complained of gender discrimination, pregnancy discrimination, or sexual harassment in the 2020 campaign? Do you know if the 2020 campaign settled any potential lawsuits regarding such? But please tell me the truth. Thank you. Already says a lot that she's going into this expecting to not get the truth. And the response was, yes, off record, Boris. The campaign settled multiple suits. Have your investigator subpoena Michael Glasner. I will, of course, tell you the truth. We may not agree on everything, but I support you. Heart. Good to know someone in the Trump campaign has a semblance of a soul. Now, although the name Boris is only referenced in the text, multiple media outlets have speculated it could be referring to Boris F. Stain. Epstein, Epstein. I may be butchering that, but it looks damn close to Epstein as well, who Trump, you know, anyway. And Boris, a high level advisor to Trump's 2020 campaign and current confidant to the former president, in addition to looking like the personification of a cartoon Russian mob boss, was also arrested in 2021, according to police records, after complaints were made about him reportedly groping two women in an Arizona nightclub. I see the rotten apples don't fall far from the turd tree. Now, he ended up pleading guilty to disorderly conduct after prosecutors dropped the charges of attempted sexual abuse, assault, touching, and harass repeated acts. Because, you know, when you're with famous people, you can do anything, apparently. And in the revelation that will surprise absolutely no one, Delgado has asserted in earlier sworn statements that Trump's 2016 campaign used middlemen to provide hush money payments intended to keep discrimination settlements away from the public, including the Federal Election Commission. According to Delgado, in other words, the payment would be routed through a middleman to hide the fact that the campaign had settled from the public and the FEC. 
I thus have direct personal experience with the defendant campaign hiding settlement payments to women, routing them through a middleman law firm, which to the public would only appear as payments for legal services. Where have we heard that before? So it wasn't just one time. Hell, it wasn't even to hide his own misdeeds. He's been doing it his whole life and will continue to, and guess what? Because of the supremely up court when he does this again and you know he will as long as it is on presidential stationery that will be an official presidential act one that he will have complete immunity from shutting people up with hush money payments so he can go around groping whoever he wants or much worse you're going up the escalator i'm gonna be dating her in 10 years can you go so let's wake up, people. Please share this video if you care about democracy and human decency, lest we fall into a fascist dictatorship run by disgusting, groping, alleged PDF files. Funny how that's the argument of the right wing about the left when we all know that every single one of their projections is a direct confession. For Really American, I'm Kenny Hess, and I'll continue to see you all in the next one until SEAL Team 6 drops by to stop our descent should Donald Trump win in November.